हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बेड रागास मेथड और बेड रागास टेक्निक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ इंट्रोडक्शन सो मेनली दिस मेथड इज यूज इज a water based strengthening and mobilizing resistive exercise model so basically this approach is uh, based on therapeutic maneuvers like strengthening and mobilizing which we are using this technique in water and it uh, developed by a physiotherapist a physical therapist in bad ragas switzerland it is a aquatic therapy used for physical rehabilitation based on proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation and this working one on one to guide a patient through specific patterns of movement and resistance and main goal of this badragas technique is improving proprioception and neuromuscular functioning the exercises in badragas method can be divided into separate models of working legs trunk and arms the models can also be classified as unilateral or bilateral models and the models have options bilateral symmetrical and asymmetrical so this means uh, in bed ragas technique we can use or we can strengthen we can mobilize the unilateral part ya bil- or both bilateral part or uh, we have to or we can focus on only on legs arms and trunk during the therapeutic maneuvers in water bed ragas method is concept of active aquatic physical therapy done on an individual basis the therapist and the patient so basically the uh, badragas technique cannot be a performed in group uh, in this technique uh, this technique mainly uh, done on an individual basis means one on one or only a therapist and a patient concentration uh, in this badragas technique uh, this technique concentrate exercises directly on the affected area is not recommended especially in the chronic pain progression of exercise can be performed by the following points that means in bed ragas technique how we can progress the exercise so first point is movement in widely gradually motion then second point is changing from proximal to distal outlets third is to increase the speed of movement means whatever we are instructing the patient or whatever we are mobilizing just we have to increase the movement that will change the form of or that will progress the exercise then changing the body shape to lengthen the liver so we can change the body shape as to lengthen the liver this introduce the technique such as isotonic contraction combination or repeated contraction then six point is increasing resistance using resistance mittens or other equipments means for resistance training we can use the different uh, types of equipments uh, in aquatic exercises uh, next point is the use of lace of floating rigs so that the patient is in deeper water a last point is change the front surface means by changing the front surface we can progress the exercise so these are the basically a uh, progression of exercise means points of the progression of exercise in bad ragas technique next is aim of bed ragas technique the first point is the tone reduction by bed ragas technique we can reduce the tone by applying the pnf technique next point is relaxation 
so mainly bedragas technique is performed in uh, water so uh, we have a different relaxation technique that we can use in uh, aquatic atmosphere uh, it can also uh, increase the range of motion next point is muscle reeducation next is strengthening by different uh, types of our uh, equipments we can use for strengthening uh, the muscles next is spinal traction so by using the equipments we can we can give the spinal traction next is improving alignment and trunk stability next point is preparation of lower extremity for weight bearing means in aquatic exercise uh, in badragas technique we can use the lower extremity or we can prepare the lower extremity for weight bearing training restoration of normal pattern of lower extremity and upper extremity movement it can also improve your endurance training the body functional capacity means uh, we can guide or we can instruct the patient uh, functional movement and uh, that can be performed by patient and uh, so exactly whatever we want to perform by the patient that we can guide and uh, that followed by the patient indication orthopedic on rheumatological conditions means various condition of the orthopedic and rheumatological conditions we can treat by this uh, badragas method then neurological disorders various disorders that can be uh, treated by badragas technique pain syndrome then sensory desensitizations developmental delay symptoms mainly in uh, children's contraindications precautions to the excessive fatigue then acute conditions and other uh, contraindication related to the aquatic exercise like the water phobia uh, wound any open wounds then ulcers skin diseases uh, any tumor so uh all the contraindication related to the aquatic exercise applied in badragas technique so here we'll uh end the today's lecture so today we have learned or we have discussed about the badragas technique uh, we will start it with the introduction so mainly uh, it's a water based strengthening and mobilizing resistive exercise model and developed by the phys physical therapist in badragas switzerland and goal of this badragas technique is improving proprioception and neuromuscular functioning then we have discussed about the progression of exercise that can be uh, performed by the different step or in a different ways then the aim of badragas technique uh, like range of motion increase relaxation tone reduction strengthening spinal traction then indication so in various condition we can use the badragas technique or method and contraindications mainly uh, two contraindications we have written here the precautions to excessive fatigue acute conditions and uh, there are many conditions like open wounds and uh, like malignancy any uh, ischemic heart disease patients so here uh, we'll end with the today's topic badragas technique thank you